Yeah, what's your smile? We can't be back with another match. Be no cat today. We got true kidnapping horror story anime. Before you get in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you're the next one. Don't shoot into the but I was kidnapped. All right, Let's see what happened, bro. These be interesting, bro. When I was 23, my boyfriend and I broke up, so I was in the process of moving away from my hometown to Houston. I just wanted to start over somewhere new. It was about 3 a.m., and I was driving through a small town in Texas on my way to Houston when I decided to stop for gas. It was pretty empty, but the gas station was open. As I was filling up, looking at my phone, I saw a truck pull up to the pump on the other side of me. I wasn't paying any attention until I put my phone in my pocket to put the nozzle back, and I saw a man just staring at me. I smiled at him. That's why I got to stay alert, bro, you know what I'm saying? Especially at night time, bro. To put the gas cap back on. When I saw four more men oh shit on side. I thought that was weird but I just wanted to get in my car and go as I went to pull the handle on my door they attacked me I was screaming and kicking and fighting what the fuck I but I wasn't strong enough two of them pulled me into the back so you don't get gas and then I go like I'd be fucking safe and shit I ended up draped over their laps what the fuck trying to get free but it was hard to move with their weight holding me down I started to cry. I have never felt so weak in my life. I started scratching one man thinking if they kill me, his DNA will be under my nails. They pulled up to a motel inside of a room. I was screaming again, and the oldest looking one started hitting me, telling me to be quiet. What the one fuck? Said if I was good, they wouldn't hurt me. They held me down on one of the What beds. the fuck is happening? And feet together with a belt and some kind of thin string like a shoelace. I was panicking and still crying, just telling them to let me go. I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't tell anyone. That's what I told them. They started talking to each other in another language, one I couldn't recognize. Looking around the room, I saw bags and beer cans, lots of beer cans. What the fuck is going on? Like they had all been staying in this one room with two beds for a while. I don't really want to get into what they did to me, but at some point, one of the men said they needed more beer. They decided the smallest one was going to stay in the room with me. So after the other four left, it was just me and the man who looked to be around my age. I remember thinking I could probably beat him up if I get loose. I asked him if I could use the bathroom. And when he untied me, that nigga stupid. I swung the door open and he grabbed my arm. I yelled, get off me. And he let go eyes wide. I ran down the street, no clothes on, and jumped in front of the first car I saw. What the fuck? It was a confused elderly man. He rolled down his window and yelled, what are you doing? Like I was ruining his morning or something. I told him I needed help and that I was kidnapped. He drove me to the... I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. That old man's stupid, bro. Because even if you believe her, bro, you never know, bro. She could be, you know what I'm saying, with them, you know what I'm saying? I would just call the cops and stuff, you know what I'm saying, for her. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not I'm letting you in my way, bro. I scrubs and could file a report. Don't care if that sounds they selfish of me, bro. I needed to go to the hospital for an examination so they could record any evidence that the man may have left on me. I just wanted to shower and go home, honestly. I just wanted to talk to my mom. They found the men the same day. It turns out they were all brothers. They didn't say what they planned on doing with me after or why they did it in the first place. They claimed to be all blackout drunk at the time. Yeah. They ended up moving to the other side of the country. And even though I know they're still in prison, I get nightmares about what happened. I don't use my phone at all in public anymore. And my current boyfriend says I'm too paranoid, but I have to be right. I never want to feel that weak again in my life. It's tough, bro. If you enjoyed the rest, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.